Dear students, in this topic, we shall discuss the mechanism of lung ventilation in mammals. The lung ventilation or breathing is a mechanical process. It consists of two phases, inspiration and expiration. During inspiration, fresh air moves in while during expiration, the air with low oxygen and high carbon dioxide content is moved out of the lungs. Dear students, there are certain anatomical features which help the lungs to carry out ventilation or breathing. The first feature of the lungs is that they are spongy in nature. They neither pull nor push the air. Ventilation of lungs occurs due to their elastic expansion and contraction. Dear students, the second feature of the lungs that facilitates breathing is the presence of a muscular diaphragm at the floor of thoracic cavity. The chest cavity hai, uska jo floor hai, that is formed of a strong muscular structure which is diaphragm. Diaphragm jo hai, jab ye relaxed halat mein hota hai, to it is dome-like. Zyada dome-like hota hai, jab ke jab iske muscles contract karte hai, to it becomes less dome-like. Diaphragm ki is contraction or relaxation ki wajah se, thoracic cavity ka volume increase ya decrease hota hai. The third anatomical feature facilitating breathing is the presence of external and internal intercostal muscles between the ribs. Pasliyon ke darmiyan mein jo muscles hain, wo intercostal muscles ke laate hain aur ye do tarhe ke hain, external or internal coastal muscles. Ye jo dono muscles hain, ye breathing mein important role play karte hain kyunke they cause the rib cage to elevate or drop. Ye rib cage ko upar aur niche movement dete hain. As a result, they expand or reduce its volume. As a result, pressure on the lungs is increased and decreased rhythmically. Dear students, now we shall discuss the mechanism of inspiration. Inspiration happens when the external intercostal muscles contract and cause the ribs to move forward and upward, elevating the rib cage. Iske saath hi, muscles of the diaphragm also contract, making it less dome-like. In dono actions ki wajah se, combined effect jo hota hai, that is, the thoracic cavity expands. Chest jo hai, wo expand karti hai. Chest expansion ka effect ye hota hai, ke the pressure of air inside the lungs decreases. As a result, lungs expand. Air pressure in the lungs falls. Ye jo fall hai, that fall is below the atmospheric pressure. Chunke lungs mein air ka pressure bahir ki air se kam ho jata hai, it creates a vacuum like situation. So, the external air which is at comparatively higher pressure than the pressure inside the lungs, so it rushes in from outside into the lungs and that is inspiration happens. Dear students, now we shall discuss the mechanism of expiration. During expiration, the external intercostal muscles relax. Ke saath internal intercostal muscles jo hain, wo is work contact karte hain. As a result, ribs move downward and inward. Saath hi saath, 
muscles of the diaphragm also relax making it more dome like the combined effect of these two actions is that the volume of thoracic cavity is reduced this causes increase in pressure on lungs lungs mein maujood air ke upar jab is tarah se pressure ka izafa hota hai to air pressure mein izafa hota hai ab bahar ki jo air hai usme pressure andar wali air ki nisbat kam hota hai lihaza air is moved out passively and that is how expiration happens